Good morning, Newman Smith. I'm Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where our mission is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready without remediation. Well, where in the Waldo is Dr. Jimenez? I am actually in Miss Disbro's class in her second period anatomy and physiology class because great things are happening in the science labs at Newman Smith. Miss Disbro, what is going on in this classroom? So our class, we have been preparing all units, which we're in the nervous system right now. We're, we've been preparing to do our first of four dissections this year. We have our brain dissection uh, this unit, then we will have a heart dissection, a kidney dissection, and at the very end of the year, our grand finale is an entire rabbit. We will go through the entire body systems. It is amazing for our seniors. I can't. I have no words. So what are we dissecting today? A sheep brain. Who? A sheep brain. Well, speaking of, guess what our SAT word of the day today is? What is it, Dr. It's Jay? dissect. It is a noun. It means to methodically cut up a body part or plant in order to study its internal parts. And our quote for the day is, it doesn't matter if it's winter or summer if you're happy. If you're happy, you don't know the difference. Well, these are some happy scholars in here that are dissecting brains. Let's go see a few. Here we go. So we're going to come over and we're going to look at everybody's brain and hear from your table. So what's going on? Is that a real sheep brain? Yeah, it's a, it's a real sheep brain. It looks really small. That is really small. What? I thought brains were bigger than that. Oh, yeah, but it's a sheep. I don't think they're that smart. Oh, okay. So the <laughs> size of the brain is important. Yeah, I guess. Wow. That is that is truly, the, the, folks. I don't know if I can take this. Like, there's there's like brain juice. Okay, so tell me, what are you learning about the brain? Uh, we're learning about the different planes and how to well actually how to dissect it. And we're the first few steps of the dissection are going through the different parts of the brain and learning their function or remembering their function after we've already learned. Wow, so what parts of the sheep brain are similar to the human brain? Let's go ask another table. Thank you, this table. Great job. So, guys, what part of the sheep brain similar to the human brain? So, the sheep brain has a dorsal, a ventral, an anterior, and a posterior. They have a medial, that's the middle of the brain. They have a lateral. And then a sagittal cut, that just means a... Oh, wow. Wow. Boy, that was really great. So, does sheep have an amygdala like the humans do, the emotions? Okay, where is the amygdala? Uh-oh. It's very internal. It's like, I would have to cut it open. Oh, so sheep really don't get in their feelings because their amygdala is super internal. I'm going to just assume that. Okay, this table, what are you learning dissecting here in A and P? Like how all the like, structures come together um, to like, function, how they all work together to work the brain. Wow. Well, listen, I don't think my stomach can take anymore. Scholars, can y'all help us close out? But before we do, all seniors, please be sure to check your email from Miss Elliott in Scholar Square because we are sending all scholarships that are now open and available for you all to apply for and the deadline that they close. So all seniors be checking your email. Also, don't forget, buy your ticket for the musical from any fine arts director. Okay, well, let's close it out together. Second period. Miss Disbro's A&P class, can you help me? Yeah. All right. We love you. We think you're great. Remember character counts and make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.